Hey YouTube, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I have another quick tip video for you guys. And this is going to be checking pupil reaction in our patients. We do this quite often for head injuries, uh, overdoses, for seizures. So there's all kinds of things we can check pupils for. So we normally do it with a flashlight. We normally do it with a little pin light like this. You don't want to use a bright LED light like this. This is just too bright. So do you use a little pin light. But what if you don't have a light? What if you don't have a pin light? So in a normal environment, our pupils are going to be probably fairly small in like this lighted environment or outside or in the back of your ambulance. The pupils are going to be very small to constrict the amount of light coming in. So what you can do is put your hands over the patient's face, cover their eyes up. And when you do that, the body's going to react and it's going to dilate the um, pupils. So then that's going to try, they're trying to let more light in. So when you do that, the normal version, the pupils are going to dilate and then when you uncover your eye, your patient's eyes with your hands, the pupils will uh, constrict back down to come back to the normal lighting environment. So if you don't have a flashlight and you're in a normal lighting environment, you can use your hand to check pupil reaction. Of course, they should be equal when they are constricted and dilated uh, and they're reacting to the light. So, hope this video helps. You never know when you're going to be the first responder. Please like, share, and comment on this video.